Okay. Right, this is all back, guys. Um, we looked at last time. Um, at the back, I want upper body control, which is usually your harness position, whereby I have one arm over the shoulder, I have the underhook, and my underhook hand is grabbing up my harness position. This is upper body control. Okay. Turn it a wee bit, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm here. Okay. The other sort of control we have is double underhook control, which is here, but this is more of a, of a transition. Okay, and um, if I can't get the harness, say I'm fighting for a position, sometimes I can get what's called chimera control, which is this here. But mainly everything's going to be from harness position. Okay, the other um, type of control I'm going to um, be looking for is lower body control which is my hooks position, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I have both hooks in. Okay, I might have one hook in, and then I have to kind of move the guy around and try and get another hook in. So let's just say I'm playing, and I have one hook in, right here. Okay, and again, we look at this all again, so, you know, i got to try and move the guy around. You know, I have one hook in, I, ha I haven't got upper body control, okay? So I want to sit up, okay, and get control of his hips here, okay, and you can sit forward, okay, take him all the way back. For my crotch lock and roll position here, this is here, yeah, and then we can move him, move him down, expose to his back, replace the hook, come underneath here, get my harness control, and I have it. But again, we have Look at that again. Okay, so we have upper body control and lower body control. Um, the things we're going to work on tonight, guys, is the control position. There's no point in getting to the back and um, within 10 seconds you've lost the position again. It's all right sticking on rear naked, some bow and arrow and all this stuff, but if you can't maintain this position, okay, the control is the thing we're going to look at tonight. Okay, also it's getting there. Okay, just get on your back, bro. So the first move is the chair. Um, the chair set again. The solo drill was the solo drill was hands on the mat. Okay, slide my left knee up. So I'm nearly going to a T mount position. Okay, from here, plant the foot. I sit back onto my hip. I freeze up my left foot, and then I just roll from my left foot from my right. I want my knees to go the opposite side. So look from here. Sit on my hip, which frees up my right foot. Sit across and I'm there. Um, right down. So again, entrances into this will be from guard passing, <coughs> from the from he's in bottom position and he either turns into me or turns away from me. So let's just say I've passed, doesn't really matter how I get here, but you know I've done a bullfighter pass, Carl's on his left side, and his back is exposed and he's here. So look, for one second, all right, the back is exposed. I've passed the guard, his back is off the mat. Okay, I can't, I can't get this back from here, why not? Because the mat's on it, all right? So the minute he exposes his back by either turning, I want to fill that gap of my chest, okay? So the first technique was the chair sit. So again, I've passed his guard, he's on his left side. What I want to do is slide my knee up behind the back of his head so he cannot, because what's going to happen? Either when I pass and he realizes I'm going for the back, he's either one, going to put the back of the mat, and then I've lost the position, or I've lost my chance to take the back, or he's, instead of turning his back, he might turn away from me and go to his knees. Those are, those are only two options, okay? I'd much rather him expose his back, okay? But um, you have to give what you take. So the chair sit, guys. He's on his left side, exactly as the solo drill. I slide my left knee behind his head. Okay. The same hand on the same that's closest to the head comes underneath and the cross face. My right hand comes in the underhook and I secure my position. Okay. Now I'm going to sit back on my butt. Okay. This frees up my right leg now. So just swing it over to this position here. Okay, I need to occupy the space just because I'm teaching here. It's kind of hard to do it with my chin on the shoulder. Let's go back again. 
So from here guys, I'm gonna slide my knee up. This one comes underneath, okay? I'm in my harness position, I'm gonna grab with my underhook hand, okay? My chest has to be right in the middle of his back. So I'm putting my chest bone between the shoulder blades. My chin is on his shoulder. Okay, this is how tight I have to be. Okay, so from here guys, my left foot's trapped, so I gotta sit back onto my left hip. This frees on my right leg now. Okay, I just gotta lift it over. And again, I wanna plant it on the mat, because if I lift it over, from here, and I only swing it over, he's gonna put me in half guard. Okay, and then he could easily get the deep half guard from here. So again, from this position, when I slide up and I get my harness control, okay, I sit back on my butt, my leg comes all the way over to the mat. Okay, now I'm gonna do exactly what I did in the solo drill. Okay, I'm gonna roll from my left hip to my right hip. Just one more variation, and you can play with this. I can do this from my, lift that on your back. Either car, or switch positions, bro. So, how am I gonna escape? First putting his hand on the collar, I'm gonna do Upa. Okay, watch, when I bridge, watch my back. I'm rolling on my left side. Yeah, it's exposed. I go to do elbow knee. I'm here, what am I doing? Look, I'm on my left side, it's exposed. So the entrance into it, enjoy. Exact same, guys. I got mine. Carl goes to do elbow knee. The minute he goes onto the side, look, here. It's like putting a brick behind the, the car tire, stop the car from rolling down the hill. I replace my knee, it's like a cushion under his head. Okay, secure my harness, put my chin on the shoulder, sit back on my butt. Okay, roll over on the other hip, and the hook in. Look how close I am, guys, this is a big thing. Okay, my chest occupies the space in the center of his shoulder blades here. I can't let his body rotate independently of mine. <coughs> that's how he's going to escape. Okay, so try that guys, just partner off.